Today, me and the dragon are going to be reading you guys the book, The Red Pen. This is actually gifted from my father's teacher. It says, Dear Shravani, blessings, Nanani Auntie. Thank you again, Nanani Auntie. What's up with There was a red hen who lived with her chicks on the farm. Here's the red hen and the chicks. She was friends with a lazy dog, a sleepy cat, and a noisy duck. One day, she found some grains and thought of planting them. Who helped me plant the grains, asked the hen. Not I, said the lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the noisy duck. Then I will, said the red hen. So she planted the grains. Then she asked, who will help me cut the wheat? No, I said the lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the noisy duck. Then I will, said the red hen, and she cut the wheat. Later she asked, who will help me take the wheat to the mill? Not I, said the lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the noisy duck. Then I will, said the red hen. She brought the wheat to the mill. She ground the flour and filled the sacks. Then she carried the heavy back, sacks back to the farm, all by herself. <coughs> On reaching, she asked, who will help me bake the bread? Not I, said the lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the noisy duck. He's a noisy duck, guys. Then I will, she said, and bake the bread. The tight hen, red hen, asked, who will help me eat the bread? I will, said the lazy Dog the sleepy cat and the noisy duck. No, said the red hen. Only my chicks and I will eat. So the red hen eat, ate all the bread with her chicks. The lazy dog, the sleepy cat and the noisy duck were hungry all day. So as you can see, as a bath is an activity sheet. So the moral of the story is never be lazy and sleepy. You can be sleepy when it's like it's night time, but not not like all the time. And, here's, and also, help your mother, your siblings, your father, your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, all your relatives. And this is a big one for the fathers. Help your wife in cooking or you won't get any food. Bye everyone. Bye.